Hello everybody, it's Moisey89 here, and today I am back just with a short discussion about the new Love and More update, which everybody's calling it the Big Bread update, and basically I just wanted to tell you guys my opinion on it, and straight from the get-go, I have absolutely loved this update, just for the sheer fact of that we wasn't expecting this update. We all know that the moon update's coming, we all know that end of the line update's coming, we knew that new weapons were coming with end of the line, but this one was completely unexpected. The only thing that I think would have made this update better, I was hoping for a map with a bread boss in it, so, you know, like out of the expiration day, the SFM, you've got that big loaf of bread that they have to fight and stuff. I was hoping for something like that, but still, I think we got an absolute bargain, really, where for free we got new weapons and some breaded reskins, and it's been absolutely fantastic. We've got the new taunt system, so we can equip loads of new taunts. There's the new taunt crates, and there's even unusual taunts that you can now unbox. If you want any more information on this unusual unboxing, take a click to this link here, which is to Strife's channel. You guys have probably heard of him. He does a t really good Team Fortress 2 videos, um, let all the good information about the really rare hats and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, he's got an amazing video here that shows you all the new unusual taunts that you can get. Just take a click on that, and that'll take you straight to his channel. And uh, yeah, you, all the information's there. What you need but yeah so basically my overall opinion of this bread update is that it is absolutely fantastic and I'm glad that we got some new weapons with this because if you include the new weapons that we're getting with the end of the line and possibly the new weapons that we're going to get with the moon base update that means that we're going to have a lot by the end of the year so Valve are actually sticking by their guns they all told us that 2014 was going to be a huge year for Team Fortress 2 and I know a lot of us were skeptical about it but it seems like they're actually pulling through with what they were saying and I'm quite proud and I'm quite honoured that we've got this you know that it was it's been an awesome update we got them bread boxes what you can craft with hats the first crates that you don't actually need keys for and stuff so yeah in my opinion I think it's been absolutely fantastic but I'd love to hear all of your guys opinions down in the comments just let me know what you guys thought of this update what you liked what you didn't like and all that sort of stuff because I do read all of your comments and I'd love to just hear what you guys have got to say so well, all, I, all I've got really left to say to you guys is that it's been a great update and I can't wait to see more. I think we're going to have either Moonbase or End of the Line next on one of them. And it's just going to be great. I hope to see more game modes in these new updates and stuff. But I'm pretty sure we're going to get that, at least with End of the Line anyway. Thank you all for listening and watching to this short little discussion. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like if you did, and subscribe and become a moistenary today if you haven't already for more TF2 awesomeness, and I'll see you all in the next one.